Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about how to link a HTML and JavaScript file together and how to access our HTML content into our JavaScript. We'll see the different ways of handling that JavaScript inside our HTML. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, I have created one index.html, one index.js files and now index.html and index.js, they are independent of each other. So that means only HTML content will be rendered and no script content will be rendered in our HTML. Let me go here and see here we are using different ways of using script. Let me inspect it and go to the console okay now what i want to do is just i want to show you how to write a script tag open tag and a close tag here inside the script i can write anything that script will be loaded whenever my html content is loaded that means let me write one console console.log of i am inside the script save this and go back and let me reload this so here i am inside the script so now our script is loaded into our html content it is not mandatory to write our script only in the head head content we can write this script inside the body content as well let me save this and go back let me clear it off reload you are saying this i am inside the script it is not only recommended to write inside the body even after the body also we can write our html script tag let me save this and go back, clear it off and reload. If you see here, I'm inside the script. That means a script tag will be executed anywhere in our HTML DOM elements. And we have the position of the script, where to keep that script and why to use, how to use that script tag. We'll see in the upcoming videos. For now, you remember that we can use a script tag to load our data into our HTML content. That means for now, let me utilize this script only in the head tag and save this and let me reload. So now I'm inside the script and also, for example, you have a small content here. That means only single line of code. For example, let me consider you have hundreds of functions inside your script tag. That means writing all the functions inside the script tag is not recommended because the readability of that code will be very hard to understand. For that sake, what HTML is giving a script tag with a SRC attribute. That means you can point that particular script tag with our external file uh, in this case I have index.js so now I have this external JavaScript and I can load that external JavaScript into this script let me go here and remove this and we have a attribute called as src src will take the absolute or relative path or HTTP that is remote path for now. I am going with the absolute path absolute path will always target to the folder structure and you can go back and forth for example here I have a JavaScript folder inside the JavaScript folder I have HTML and just beneath of this HTML file. I have this JavaScript that means they are in the same folder to point to the current folder I can use dot slash and I can give index.js so let me save this and write one console inside this console dot log of I am inside the external JavaScript file and let me save this go back clear it off and reload you can see here I am inside the external JavaScript file and even this particular script file can be loaded even after our body let me save this and clear it off reload if you see here it has been loaded I am inside the external JavaScript file so now the thing is we are targeting our JavaScript file which is external and also we can load some script file from the external JavaScript that means remote JavaScript files for example I have something like remote one so let me use bootstrap for let me go to any of the bootstrap tutorials and here inside the bootstrap tutorial there is something called as get started if you are using this get started let me click okay if you see here we have something like a script tag where the javascript file will be loaded from your external remote place let me use this same 
script paste here and now to verify this how we can verify the script is loaded or not we can verify it via network why because it's a remote so here you have some options we will talk about this option in the upcoming videos for now I am using all as a filter and you can see that index.html which is loading from your local file system and also JS file it is loading from your local file system let me clear it off and let me reload this if you see here index.html it is loaded from file system and you have index.js it is also loaded from file system whereas if you see the jquery it is loaded from http that means you are loading this jquery content from your external javascript file so that is the reason we are using this particular source attribute and also even we can point this index.js not only by using absolute path we can give the relative path as well relative path means the system path for example to have that system path i can get it from here there is something like user slash file users sci desktop sci youtube javascript index.js we have something like this and let me save this now this one and this one indicates the same i'll prove that now Previously, whenever we are using this index.js, we have only one console printed on your console that is browser console and here we are using the script file which is targeting for the same index.js. Now it should render two times in the console. Let me clear it off, go to the console, clear and reload. If you see here, I'm inside the external JavaScript file, I'm inside the external JavaScript file. But in general, this type of path that means pointing the source path with the file system is not recommended. Why? Because you may be having the same folder in another folder. Like for example, let me try to use something like JavaScript. So in, in this I am using only Java instead of JavaScript. I have a folder called as Java. So in this case, my source file that means the javascript source file will be failed you can see here it is getting failed preview failed to load the response data no data found for the resource why why because we are giving a wrong path so always it is recommended to use the absolute path instead of using the relative path absolute path will focus on the folder so if you are using an absolute path whenever we are giving these files to other folks then in that case this will never be failed because you are pointing by using an absolute path so that is about the script tag and how to use the script tag in our html content either with a absolute path relative path or a remote path this is something like a remote path the remote path may be loaded at some point of time because the http calls are asynchronous calls we'll talk about asynchronous and how to call that asynchronous data in the upcoming videos for now remember a src of a script tag will take absolute relative as well as remote path to load the application hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you